Life is a winding road. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys examples of subbing plans and just to show you guys the things that I have in my bag that I've noticed over the last 14 times that I've gone to sub that I tend to grab and I tend to lean on and things that I would highly recommend you have in your sub bag. So I have been collecting a couple of sub plans to show you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what they could look like, how in detail and how not in detail they could be. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. I am a wife and a mom of two. I I recently just started working again as a substitute teacher and I just started mm, a little less than a month ago um, but I've already done 14 jobs I'm currently on one right now it's my lunch break done all types of grade levels these sub plans are from different kinds of grade levels so you can see the difference in an elementary sub plan middle school and high school sub plan I'll start off with a couple of the easy ones and I did cross off any names or locations of anything that shows where these sub plans came from so everything is completely scrubbed off this is one of the sub plans that i got so this was a sub plan from a teacher that i was covering for only a half a day but this teacher was an icr teacher so it's an in-class resource teacher so she looks over specifically a few of the kids in the classroom and each of the classrooms but she had a prep period the first period so i really was only covering for her for like two hours and then i got to leave and then that was my half a day all right so that one was pretty like straightforward and i was just looking over those few students and walking around the class and seeing if any of the teachers needed help that one was really simple this is an example of something that the main office will give you when you come in and it just basically tells you every single period what class you're going to be in for that period this is normally when they want you to go to different classrooms they'll write it out like this so you know exactly what classroom and what period you need to be at and for what times this was a crazy day when i was literally covering two different classes and the auditorium and it was just like all over the place that was for middle school this next one is actually for an elementary class a specifically a third grade elementary class where i was covering for the main teacher but the co-teacher took over that day for the most part and then this is an example of one from middle school where she explained it right here one thing that they had to do and she just put c above c above c above and all her classes were doing that exact same thing so it was just like super basic super simple and here is another example of an elementary school sub plan the wording was very tiny but it was very in detail detailed with exact times and subjects that the kids were going to be learning at the at whatever time they needed to learn it that day so I definitely appreciated the in detail for this too because this was also for a main teacher's position so definitely look out for that if you're going to go for a main teacher's position know that the sub plans are going to be a lot more in detail if you're in elementary if you're in middle school or high school generally the work that they have to do is on their computers or on their laptops so it's really not a lot that you need to know to do them other than redirect them if they're getting out of hand if they're getting too loud make sure that they're in a seat just different stuff like that and then this was actually a sub plan for a class that i was covering for only one hour i went in specifically for just one hour for this class to cover one period and the teacher wanted me to teach during this one period and it was an esl class so i had not only did i have to teach it in english but i also had to teach it in spanish which was very interesting that was probably the longest hour ever because it was a science class that i had to teach in english and spanish very difficult we did leave an in detail sub plan which i appreciated and then there's sub plans like this where the teacher didn't have time to like type it all up she just wrote it out basically the same thing generally it's like period one two three and four do this and periods like six and eight do this and then she just wrote it that way and then she left worksheets for me to hand out to them she left the attendance sheet and all like the emergency folder stuff on her desk so this was a pretty simple day this is actually for a high school science class i really did enjoy that class actually like the students were really well behaved as a whole because it was my first science and not like a main subject like math and language arts or english reading tend to be longer periods um, but science and social studies are shorter periods so i was seeing more students in like the shorter amount of times so i think i seen like maybe 140 students that day which was crazy the fact that that teacher has 140 students a day the one that i'm currently in today has sees over 150 students I'm like oh and i'm in a social studies class right now but i won't show you her sub plans because i haven't had a chance to like cross anything out because i still need the information this is an example of what a high school could give you it's the same thing periods and the exact room that you're going to be at and when your lunch is when your prep period is for prep period for the most part i haven't had to go anywhere during prep period other than maybe like th two or three times where they had me either go to the teacher's lounge and wait to see if something else needs to be done or 
they actually put me in the auditorium or in another teacher's room today i have lunch and prep back to back and it's for sixth and seventh period so now i only have one more class to go to until it's the end of the day i love the schedule i'd rather just bang out all the classes in the morning and then only have one after lunch and then ready to go now i'll go into a couple of things that are like must-haves this clipboard i'm sorry if you see me looking that way it's because that's where towards the hallway is and i don't want anybody to watch me record this because that's so awkward this clipboard i literally whenever i walk into a class and i see the sub plans the very first thing i do is bloop, i pop it right on here and now i know that all the paperwork that i need is secure and i'm not gonna lose it it's in my face i look at it all day long i really do i'm kind of upset though i forgot to make a copy of this and i don't want to go out and find a copier it's all right i'm just gonna leave her notes separately on a sheet of paper i have whipped out a couple of my stickers so definitely having the stickers on hand was a good idea and the notepad in the back of my clipboard i use it as a bathroom list so it's very very important for me to write down who's going to the bathroom and what time so that i can track how long they're gone for because i don't want to lose a kid on my watch so yes i do write them a pass and yes they do take the teacher's pass but i also ask them for their name what time they came out and then if they come back i check it off so that way i know that all the students are accounted for and another thing that has come really handy is my sticky notes i wish i had a different one because this one's not not really that sticky anymore whenever they want to go to the nurse's office i've noticed that a lot of the schools don't have designated passes they either just take the one from the teacher or the teacher kind of i guess just writes it out i'm not sure but whenever they ask me to go to the nurse or anywhere else that's not the bathroom i write it down on a sticky pad and i write it down and i give it to them so that way they have an actual pass and they know what room they're coming from so if there's any issues like i could be like yeah like i know that they are gone like i told them that they can go i don't know it's just for like my own security another thing that i want to add to my bag is hand sanitizer uh, make sure you have chapstick make sure you have lotion um i even i've had this mirror for a really long time bring a mirror and then i do have my flashcards. i did get to play around the world with the multiplication cards that i got which was really exciting because i love that game so much i definitely recommend getting a cup i love this cup so much because this seal is so good that i can put it in my bag and it will not spill so definitely investing in a good cup that is not going to spill that you can throw in your bag because the very first thing i did on my very first day was leave my water bottle and luckily i was going to the same school a few days later so i was able to get it back because the teacher didn't throw it away but having one that you could just throw in your bag and not have to worry about it making a mess definitely investing in a good one i think this was like 16 dollars from marshall's i'll have everything linked in my description box below if you were interested in anything that i spoke about and this bag you guys i love it so much I keep my phone in here. I put my lanyard in here at the end of the day. I, ha I bring my laptop. You're actually like, my laptop is right behind you. Oh, I bring headphones too for when I'm doing during lunch or prep period. I'll put my headphones in. I'll watch something just to make time go by a little bit faster. I'll listen to some music. But yeah, that's literally me only 14 shifts in. And I've used all that stuff already. And I'm grateful that I was I feel like I was prepared because I watched other people's videos on what to bring and what to expect and what not to expect. So yeah, I hope this video was really helpful. I have about 20 minutes now until the class comes in, but I only have an hour and 20 minutes left of school and then I'm done for the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.